recognition. I ask unanimous consent to speak out of order for one minute. Without objection, the gentleman may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last week, Mr. Speaker, I shared with the House that my office has launched a website where Americans could learn about the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, weigh in with their opinion on the bill, and list themselves as citizen co-sponsors if they support it. Thousands of Americans, Mr. Speaker, have become citizen co-sponsors. Many have also shared their own stories and called for Senate action on this bill. Sadly, Senate Republicans refuse to do anything to address the crisis of systemic racism in our country. More than a month has passed and they have taken no action nor uh, on their own bills. George Floyd jo Justice and Policing Act. That's an irresponsible abdication of its duty to address the challenges facing our country. Today, Mr. Speaker, I will begin submitting the names of more than 7,000 George Floyd Justice and Policing Act into the Congressional uh, Citizen Co-Sponsors of that act in the Congressional record. I ask unanimous consent that the list I have today will be included at the end of these remarks. Without objection. There are so many of those, it may take several days. And as more add their names at uh, justicepolicing.us. Again, justice in policing, one word, dot US. We will continue to submit them into the record because the Senate needs to see how important this issue is so many, to so many of our fellow Americans. They need to say how many of our people are urging them to act. So, Mr. Speaker, I ask that this list of citizen co-sponsors be inserted in the record following my remarks as I just made the unanimous consent uh, Without request. objection. Thank you. Uh, I also uh, want to urge the Senate to stop ignoring this issue and listen to the voices of thousands who have taken the time to add their names here and share their stories. We must take action to make it clear that black lives matter. Mr. Speaker, we passed uh, uh, just a few days ago uh, the Roger Brooke Tawney and other uh, people. In the opinion, the Dred Scott decision, what Roger Brooke Tawney of the state of Maryland said was black lives do not matter. They are not citizens. They are not worthy, he pointed out, to be with those of us who are white. Uh, we need to make sure that those citizens of our country uh, understand that yes, black lives matter.